Greetings, I'm Nicola. I want to wish you a warm welcome to my new tutorial. From world of Bootstrap, we are back to WordPress, more precisely to, to the Ocean WP team. And today I will show you how you can add the social icons for this team. So before we start, if you want to support me and support my work, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click on bell notification for more upcoming videos. Let's go! Here I'm using the Ocean WP theme with Elementor page builder and this is one section with background image and uh, here is the logo for the tutorial purposes only, my menu and the title of page. So let's see how you can add the social icons in the top bar here and the top bar is one of many features of Ocean WP team. Okay, from uh, customizer, here you can see that this is my test site and this is customize.php and this is the customizer. Let's go to the top bar and click on social and here you have options for font size, padding, social links color and links on hover state. And this is the social networks where you can put your own links. I will put hash in Twitter, um, sorry, Facebook, I know Pinterest, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube and here you have, you can find the GitHub, Skype, Flickr, Xing, TripAdvisor, email and so on. Icons here. Also, let's change the color, for example, to be uh, blue, just like the background menu here. For hover state, let's set black maybe or purple. Yeah, it's okay. Click on publish and we added the social icons and save our changes. This is one way. Also here you can check or uncheck enable social. You can uncheck this option if you want to get only the content here. This part here you can edit. And this is the general settings to enable top bar and this is, I think, self-explanatory. You see, let's enable social. And now you change the position to left social and right content here or centered, just like here. Okay, let's publish it. And now I want to show you one more thing. For example, if you have the widgets footer, in Ocean WP team you have, I think, yes, tab for widgets, footer widgets here and here. Footer bottom is this part here with options and you can check visibility here and footer widgets here. Also, you can change the visibility and this, this is the options for this part here. But if you want to add social icons to your footer, you must go here on widgets and you have footer one, two, three, four. This is the four columns, four sections here. Also the number of sections you can set here, a number of columns actually. Maximum, I think this is the four, you can set one, two, three or four. Okay, if you want to add the social icon here, let's go to widgets and for example, choose the footer one. Click on this button, add a widget and in search type social. You can add the social icons and social share. Let me show you first the social icons. You can change the title and so on. But if you want to preview your changes, your content here, you must put links for these social networks. 
let's set for Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and for example, GitHub. Also, here you have the Russian VK, Xin, and so on. This is your links. Also, you can change the title, the style, just like here, colored. Let me show you. Okay. And you can set the style to simple. Okay. Transition. You can add your animation, for example, float. Just like here, you see on hover transition. You can set the rotate. This is nice rotation effect. And you can set the zoom out. Let's leave at rotate. Also, you can check the link target to be blank or self. Add no following link rel. You can change the dim dimensions. For example, let's set to be a 13 pixel or maybe 60. Hmm. Let's see now. Okay, let's copy a new tab. Is it working? No, it's not. I don't know why, but in theory here you can change the dimensions. Dimensions probably for I think here style and set light. Maybe just like here, let's set now the 17 pixels. Yes, this is the dimensions. Okay. Let's back to I think simple. Yes, here you can change the font size. This is actually the icons size. For example, 22 pixels. Your icons are bigger. Also, you can change the border radius. Border radius, let's set again the just amount style light with border radius. This is the border radius here. Okay. And here you can change the background color for icons. Background color hover. That means that when you hover the your icon, this color will be changed. Okay, color hover, border color, border color hover. This is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, this is the social networks. And when you are done with your changes, click publish. And also beneath the social icons, you can add another widget, but let's go on footer two. And let's type social. And this is the social share. And here you can display social sharing buttons on your sidebar or footer. This is the options, but I think that this is the options for sidebar. Show social name. Yes, I think that this option is for sidebar only. Okay, maybe I will film one video for it. Let's delete. Okay, this is all for social options, social networks options for OceanWP team. Also, you can make more options and extend the social component of your website with plugins. That research you can do on your own. Go to WordPress plugins repository and find the social share plugins. Okay, guys. And this is all for today's tutorial. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, write down in comments. If you want to support me, my work, 
leave a like for this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget the bell notification. Thank you for watching me and see you in another tutorial. Have a nice day. Bye bye.